Hello guys, I'm gonna sneak and install something in Belle, the wife's rebel, before she wakes up because, uh, you know, she wasn't too keen on adding a monitor to her truck, but, you know, it's important. And Edge Products, Edge Products makes one of the, you know, if, if you guys have a truck and you don't know about Edge Products and their CTS2 monitors, you're living underneath a rock. It is one of the best monitors for your truck, vehicle, whatever you have going on. This, this right here is one of the best ones out there on the market. The only reason why I don't personally use it in the Beast is because I have the Easy Link and I use the app to monitor my gauges. And it makes it easier for uploading new tunes when they uh, when they come out. And when I first got the Easy Link, there was a lot of tune revisions going on with the HPP. Knock on wood, though, we haven't had too many tune revisions lately. I, I think the last one was like eight months ago, if not longer. So I haven't had to do any tune revisions with the Beast. And I'm pretty happy with the tune right now in the Beast. And we're not going to be doing any tuning with the 2019 Ram Rebel. So, you know, it's a good tool to monitor you know, the vitals of your truck or vehicle. This one's specifically for truck performance. So I'm gonna put this in and we'll see what she thinks of it when she wakes up. I'm thinking I'm gonna mount it on the windshield right here. Actually, you know what? I wonder if Pro Clip USA has some type of mounting solution that we can mount this down here. Because that would be kind of cool to mount it there. Or even, nah, cord. Yeah, the cord for this is a lot thicker than, you know, your cell phone cord. So I'm thinking I'm going to mount it here. I'm going to run the wire down along here. I'm going to pop this. This should just pop right out. This. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at all that real estate right in there. So yeah, we're going to run it down here to the OBD2 port, which is... There's the OBD2 port right there. So we're just going to get this thing mounted and hopefully not make the wife too mad. Another cool thing with this edge monitor is that if you do have a trouble code, a check engine light, you can see what that code is and clear it right from this monitor. We did have the Rebel throw a code one time since the Pulsar install. That code, I don't even know what it was. It actually eventually cleared itself out. The wife pulled over, shut the truck down, started back up. We are running the performance no MDS tune. So we switched it back to just the performance tune. So we have MDS. There you go. Very nicely packaged. I've actually had one of these. I had one of these originally on the Beast and then I actually sold it to uh, Monster Ram, one of my subscribers, followers, longtime followers. But yeah, you get some cool Edge products decals, detailed instructions. A little pamphlet, some text messages coming in. <laughs> and then your monitors right here. It's actually not that bad. I don't think she's gonna mind this. What do you think, guys? You think she's gonna mind? I don't think she's gonna mind it. It's very small. It's not it's not huge. I've actually had this for a while. I just haven't had time to get this thing installed. So there's your uh, little mount that mounts to the back of it. Here's your cable. That's your update cable, which you know, I probably should update this first before we install it. I'm gonna update this real quick before we install it. Just, to, it's always good practice to do that. Whenever you're installing anything electronic, make sure you're, you have the most current firmware up to date because you know, if there is an issue, they pull, they push the fix out for it. You, you don't wanna install it and then have to take everything back out again or bring a laptop out to your car and plug it in. I mean, it's not actually, it's not really gonna be that hard to do if we had to, but you know, I just wanna get it done. I don't want any problems with the wife. All right guys, so now that we uh, checked the firmware, it says it's already up to date, so we should be good in that aspect. We are going to, probably makes the most sense to mount this to the windshield first. So we're gonna take this mount off. Comes with a little alcohol pad, but her windshield's pretty clean. This is already, got a covering on it so we're not really going to mess with that just a sticker on the back here just telling you you should register your edge product okay There's a cable 
goes to our OBD2 port. This looks like a HDMI connector, pretty much. Identical to one. So, there you go. What's cool with this edge monitor, if you don't have a backup camera, or if you wanna add a front forward face camera, like this truck doesn't have a far, front forward face camera, there's an actual port to add a camera to this. And then you can also, there's other accessories that you can connect to this as well, which is pretty neat. Gives you additional options. Like I said, man, Edge Products has been around for a long time, making awesome products for us truck guys. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think that's bad at all. I don't think the wife's gonna, I don't think, she, I don't think she's gonna hate that. I might move it down a little bit more, but that's not bad. I don't know, fingers crossed, guys. I, I like to see the, my truck's vitals as I'm driving it, even though I don't drive this all the time, but I do drive it. This is our family vehicle. This is, if we're taking the family out, we take Heather's truck because, well, it's got the most room. I could put it up top here. Uh, I mean, how often are you looking up at this corner part of the window? Hmm. Set it up there, see what it looks like. Now, now, <laughs> that's not gonna fly. <laughs> nope, she wouldn't like that. I mean, I don't personally, it doesn't bother me, but it would bother her, I know it. And we'll just take this cord, sort of run it in behind here. Actually is a lot of room behind the dash here. It's like a ram almost planned for this. The cable running down through here. We just pull this weather stripping down. It's gonna hide nicely. I might put a little notch in there to keep it from moving. As you can see, I've got like an awesome spot just to go down in this corner here. And then we're just gonna run it down here. And then what I'll do is I'll and what I'll do is I'll zip tie the excess cable so it's out of the way. Like I was telling you earlier with the other, the other accessories and gauges that you wanna to add to this, this is where you would add it, right there. Okay, yeah, that not look bad at all. Warning, prior to use, read user's manual. Misuse could result in traffic accidents, death. Okay, yeah, we don't wanna die. Previous disclaimers will be displayed three more times. So we are gonna, we are a Dodge, I guess. Put the ignition to run. We're hit yes. No, we do not have a manual transmission. Pulsar update available. It is highly recommended that you perform this update. Interesting, I didn't even know there was an update. And I think, I do believe, which I, I, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't done my research, but I, I do believe that you can actually switch through your tunes with this edge monitor. Press and drag. Oop, it's a spider. The wife is so, she's horrified by spiders. I know that beeping is annoying you. It's annoying me. All right, come on. And you can select the new PID. And there's so many different PIDs that you can choose from. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you with this right now. But yeah, you got all kinds of cool stuff. I'm, I'm definitely gonna adjust these PIDs. But trans temp, trans temp's always important. So let's see. Cool, you got your RPMs showing up. What do you think? You think she's gonna like it, or tell me to take it out? <laughs> See, uh, records layout, data log, performance, diagnostics. There you go. That's where you can pull up your trouble codes. Oh, we do have a trouble code. What the hell is that?
Yo, girl. It's done. It's done. It's done. You're showered, and you're showered. and you're drinking a bottle of wine at like uh, ten forty-five in the morning. Five o'clock somewhere. All right, hop in the, the pilot seat. I'm not driving. No, she's not. She's just looking at this. Oh, that's not bad, actually. See? All right, good, good. I was okay. worried. Here, let me hop in the back seat. Oh, I killed a spider on video doing this install just to let you know. Was it the big wolf one? No, it was a little yellow guy. You, oh, they, they bother me, but they don't. All right, start it. I have a flashing engine. So that's not bad? You don't mind it? I don't mind that. Perfect. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be bigger. Yeah. I, and I actually thought about putting it up higher, like on top there, but it actually stuck out so much it, it sort of looks silly, but it looks perfect there. Yeah, I don't mind that. that I that's might be able to change the background. Oh, by the way, guys, I did uh, make sure that this thing was, well, it was up to date. And then it also said that my Pulsar needed to update it, but I confirmed it. it actually updates the Pulsar through the edge monitor. So on your upper left, okay. that's your edge and coolant temperature. So that's 190. 190. So it's set to, I, I set an alarm. It will actually go off when you get to a certain temperature. When it gets too, too hot, it will let you know. It's going to yell at you saying, hey, this we're running really hot. There's a problem. And then that's when I call you. Yeah, that's when you call me. Okay. All right. So below that is what gear you're in. So you're in park right now. Below that is your transmission temperature, trans fluid, trans. 93. Or 93. Is your RPMs. Below that is your G Force. And on your top right side is your economy. Okay. Your MPGs. You take air temperature below that. And then below that is your uh, miles per gallon that you're averaging or currently at. Okay. So average is at the top. What you're at is at the bottom. So it's pretty cool. So if you take your finger, you'll see like a little thing at the top of the screen. Swipe down. See that? You can switch through your Pulsar tunes right there, hit up. So that's the same thing that this you, was doing? Yeah, it's the same thing. You could do it that you can do it on there and you can still do it on your steering wheel as well. So you want to take it up to eight. That that's uh, no MDS performance setting. So I'm thinking that whatever the update that they sent us is gonna resolve the issue that you know caused our little uh, check engine light okay. not long ago. So um, you know. Guys, with new things, new technology, uh, things are always changing and evolving. So you're gonna have you're gonna have little glitches and bugs. It's it's bound to happen, especially when you're doing mods. When you do mods, you're gonna have to do mods on mods on mods. So, you know that's why we do it. It's fun. We are, we're always trying to push the envelope and make things better. What are you doing? Am I bothering you? <laughs> no, I'm <obviously. laughs> sorry. Just playing around. Yeah. We're just always trying to make things better, and that's that's you know that's the that's the fun of it. We have fun doing it. Occasionally, you hit a little, uh, little bug. Nothing's perfect. So, but Except the company, for me. yeah. <laughs> but when you work with awesome companies, they they work through the bugs and they make it better for you. You know, things are always changing, so they got to stay with the times, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. You're still happy with your pulsar? Oh, I love my pulsar. <laughs> cool. You're gonna keep it in here? Yeah, I'm keeping it Look, in the here. The blue almost matches the blue there. I mean, that's a little darker, but. But we can. There is an app. It's called My Style. They, it's a computer app that we can change the background. We can make it whatever you want. Oh, I want to be a picture of you. Oh, really? <laughs> so the wifey just said that wine bottle was less than a glass and it just wouldn't fit in the refrigerator anymore. And I want to dirty a cup, so I'm just going to literally do a quarter cup of a <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, please smash, do something to that subscribe button, click it, ding it, bing it. Stiddle it. Whatever, just do something to it. Hit the notification bell, bing, bing, ding, ding, ding dong. <laughs> ding, dong, okay. Cheers. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next upload.